Okay, we have our site, and I'm going to show you one of the benefits of having this as a movie clip versus having it as a uh, just a text object or a, yeah, a text object. So anyway, we converted this into a movie clip. So one of the advantages to that is we can go into this movie clip and decide, you know what, I think this is too big or anyway I went right into it and I say well I think this is too big so I will select the text and I will make it a little bit smaller let's say like 44 right so I can make it a little bit smaller I could also change it to another name or whatever I want um, and that would be fine too so since I made it smaller well I'll show you I'll make it a lot smaller and then you'll get the understanding. So I made it a lot smaller. Well, now everything has changed. All instances of it change. So um, it's smaller here, it's smaller here, 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 it's smaller here, and it's smaller here. Because once you change the movie clip, you change it for all instances. Another thing is what you can do when you have a movie clip is you can add effects to it, right? So if I select this movie clip, I can go to color effect here and or to filters down here at the bottom and I can add a filter to it. Um, so here's the filters down at the bottom. I could say I want to add a blur or a glow or or however I want to do it. I can add it to it. So I could say glow and you can see now I have this red glow around it. I'll change the uh, some of the aspects of it here. Let's see. All right, there we go. I can change the quality to medium. I can give it a different color, right? So I can change the color of it. I can change the blur, uh, the amount of blur, uh, the strength of the blur. And so now I've got it there just like that. I can also save it to use it later. So let's see here if I can save this. Presets, right? And I'll say Save As, and I'll name it Glow 3, and click OK. Okay, so now I have that. Well, now that it's saved, what I need to do is I need to put it on the other keyframes. So I'll need to click here and then click here to presets and I'll type glow 3 and then at the end I will let's also make sure that it's already set glow 3 and so now it should be there from beginning to end unfortunately at the beginning frame it somehow reverted back to the red color so I've had this problem before sometimes it's hard to keep it behaving but um, anyway it looks like it's working now the other thing that you could do is you could go to your first frame select it and you could play with the um, alpha channel of the movie clip so I could go to color effect here and I could say style alpha and I could alpha it down let's say to zero watch it disappear as I alpha, alpha it down to zero up here right here look right here I'll alpha that down to zero and you'll see it disappear and then as it slides in place it's supposed to appear now it's not so I'll have to go over here select it you can see it's it's disappeared but it's still there and then change the alpha back up to a hundred and now it fades in as it moves out across. So you can see it; it's, it's invisible, and then it fades in as it zooms across the screen. And everything stops right here. Okay. Okay. It's time to make the tabbed buttons for our site. So we'll take a quick look at this other site. And this other site, you can see I've got these buttons here at the top. Now they're on their own layer. There's one, two, th uh, three, and four buttons. You can see there's all these buttons right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to create um, our own buttons. Now the buttons are separate from the text, so the text is on another layer. So you see, there's the button, there's the text. Let's turn off these eyeballs, and we'll turn that on. And you'll see here that the buttons are just these tabbed, and these are actually movie clips. And if I show you how it functions, when you have the site up, as you click on the button, it shows like almost like a card. So the this white transparent white almost becomes like a card catalog 
so that comes to the foreground so it looks like as you tab on the different buttons you're pulling a different card to the foreground and so we'll dissect how we how I went about doing that and then maybe we can do something similar with this other site so first of all what we'll do is we'll zoom in we'll take a quick peek at it and dissect it a little bit so what I did was these are movie clips alright each one is a movie clip and if you open it up inside inside the movie clip I've got three keyframes right so there's this keyframe then there is this keyframe for when one tab is activated it comes in front of the other so I needed to make another object where this is cut out right here and then on the third one is the transparent one when this comes to the foreground it actually gets to be transparent and you'll see what I mean if I change the background color here I'll change the background color to let's say blue and you see here that on the third one right there's the first one second one and the third one is actually uh, a transparency one and I'll turn open up this eyeball there it is I had this eyeball off um, so on the third one it's actually transparent so it matches the tab right so in the actual flash movie if we look at the flash movie one more time when we have the card in the foreground it looks like this is one piece right this background white card transparent in the button but it's actually two pieces and so right now this would be on keyframe number three and then these are on keyframe one one and one and so that's kind of the tricky part is it juggling that so once again this is keyframe three and these are all on keyframe one if I click on this one now this one's on keyframe three this one's on keyframe two and this um, movie clip is still on keyframe one so what I mean by that is I'll take this again so that's keyframe one keyframe two and keyframe three and so you can see the the button changing position so we'll need to do that and then another thing is that inside of these these guys actually function like these are actually um, underneath what I did was is I actually made these guys inside buttons and the reason I did that is well I'll explain that but just to give you a quick reason is when you hover over a movie clip your cursor doesn't turn into a hand but if you hover over a button in flash your um, cursor will turn into a hand so that's why I did that and we'll start working on that right now so for our buttons what we're gonna do is we're gonna lock this layer uh, the logo layer right and then we'll make a new layer and this will be for our main buttons so we'll say main buttons on this new layer and the main buttons are going to appear well we'll say they'll appear right here so we'll put a keyframe right here and this is where we'll start creating our buttons so the buttons will appear right here and for the buttons what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the rectangle tool and we can take advantage of that curved edge here and I'll just get a different color here let's say get a color like this and we could have tabbed buttons that function a little bit like that possibly um, what I'm thinking is of maybe doing is deleting that getting the rectangle tool and changing the curve down to 25 hit enter so it takes on all four and I'll try that again to make a tab okay so tab could look like that alright and what I'll want to do is I have all my other layers um, locked so when I click here I don't select this transparency and then I'll just select like that click and drag a selection box up here and then delete that piece so now I've got a tab right and so that could be a tab for like home or you know some kind of button or like that 
and what I'm going to do is I will draw a line to put in the shadow area next. 